Hello, my name is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at HIMSS 2022 in Orlando, and we have with us Kim Garriott. She is Chief Innovation Officer for Healthcare at NetApp. Kim, thanks so much for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brian. I'm super excited to be here in I know, a lot year. of us are. It's great. It almost feels like a back to normal. Exactly. Yeah. So we've talked over the years. We've talked at uh, RSNA a couple years ago about healthcare IT. And, and imaging. We talked at uh, HIMSS in Las Vegas back in the old days when things were semi-normal. <laughs> yeah. um, now that we're, we're, we're back at HIMSS, there's a lot of people here, a lot of, bu- lot of the, the, the show floor open today, lots of, uh, lots of activity. What are some of the big trends that you're seeing right now? Yeah, so I'm really excited to see the trends this year. It's, of course, same, uh, some of our same topics that we've been talking about for years, right, is augmented intelligence or AI and medical imaging is really leading the way again in innovation in health IT as we are looking to leverage all the masses of data that we have from over the years to really create dynamic AI models to further patient care and get better outcomes. Awesome. Um, any big changes from COVID that you've seen here that have, have, have changed things in the IT world? Yeah, you know, one thing that I think has just had a 180 shift is the interest of our healthcare organizations in the cloud today, the public cloud, and being able to leverage it in creative ways that are cost effective, but also help to limit or reduce the burden of that on-site data center premise that they have to have. And that's really important because as we think about imaging, Again, it's leading the way in innovation to the cloud because of the volumes of data that we're producing on a daily basis, even more so with the widespread adoption of point of care ultrasound and digital photography, all these things in enterprise imaging that we talk about. But we're also seeing more conversations and much more serious interest around digital pathology and the data management that goes with that. So mm. it's really you know, interesting to me to see now how our CIOs and other health IT professionals are really having to pay attention to the cloud prior to the pandemic. That was something that, you know, Eight out of 10 CIOs had a a slight interest, but their organizations weren't ready because of security, latency, fear of costs that they can't expect. But now since COVID, again, it's a 180, and every CIO, cloud is top of mind. How they can get there over time, how they can build it into their data management strategies, and how they will be able to manage these huge volumes of data coming their way as digital pathology continues to evolve and be adopted. Now, some of the things that have happened in digital pathology is some of the first uh, software applications for whole slide imaging have just been approved, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, over the past three years, we've seen really two vendors in North America receive FDA certification, and that has driven the interest in digital pathology and that adoption. But one of the interesting things that we're seeing in the market right now, Brian, is that organizations aren't actively seeking to replace their pathologist workflow just yet. They're really focusing on digitizing these historic glass slides so that they can leverage those digital images in the development of AI into further research efforts. Awesome. Now, we talked a lot about cloud. Um, It it seems like back in the old times, there was a lot of reticence uh, for security reasons for healthcare administrators to put all their data on the cloud. Is that starting to go away? Yeah, I think the security concerns still exist. Obviously, we cannot have a health IT conversation where data protection and security isn't top of mind. But we're also coming to the realization that these very large public cloud service providers, they have teams, hundreds of people focused on cyber, and that really outweighs and outmeasures what a single healthcare organization can do. Even a very well-funded organization with their own security staff is still going to pale into comparison as to what we see these public cloud providers being able to provide that data security and data protection at the best it can be for their customers with data in the cloud. These guys are pros at that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, tomorrow on Wednesday here at HIMSS, you're gonna be moderating a session on women in, in healthcare IT. Can you talk about that yeah, a little bit? Yeah, no, it's super exciting. We will have a round table of women in health IT. And really the goal of this round table is to be able to share our experiences in the health IT field 
why we joined Health IT or what was, you know, what was our curiosity in the first place, how we got here, important women in history that we've looked up to and mentors that have helped us along our journey, all with the goal of helping to inspire other women uh, to join uh, the health IT profession and um, bring good things. Awesome. Well, good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Well, Kim, thanks so much for being with us. It's yeah. great to see you again. Thank you, Brian. Great to see you. Signing off from HIMSS 2022, my name is Brian Casey.